Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sires, back here for the Music Factory Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to save space by only installing the plugins you need with macOS plugin installers for your DAW of choice, whether that be Pro Tools, Studio One, Reaper, Ableton, Logic, and so on. So I've got this M1 Mac Mini I'm going to take into the studio and actually try it out in real world sessions. I've been using an Intel machine and Intel Mac for quite a while, used PowerPC before that. So I think that the M1 has got to a stable enough level that I can take it into the studio as my full-time machine. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm only gonna be using basically logic and audio units in the Mac Mini. So let me show you how to only install those so you don't have to go digging through the finder and getting rid of AAXs and VSTs or the plugins you don't need so you can save space on your small hard drive Macintosh. So I'm opening Valhalla's Freak Echo, which is a free plugin. And if you don't have it, go grab it because it's awesome. We want to continue, continue, agree. And then right here at the bottom, you see this little button that says customize. Click on customize. Now we can choose to not install VST3s, AAX or regular VSTs and only install the audio unit. If you're a Pro Tools person, only choose the AAX. If you're using Reaper or Studio One and you prefer to use VSTs, choose the VST option. But I'm gonna be using mostly Logic and audio units work in Studio One as well as Reaper. So I'm gonna be using just AUs to save space. Now I'm gonna install and it's not going to install the VSTs or the AAX plugin. Now some of these plugins are huge in size. Some can be 100, 200, 300 megabytes or even bigger. So you can really, really save some space this way. And then you don't have to go digging through Finder to look for the where the uh, Avid plugins are installed. Or you start noticing the more plugins you install, it's taking up way too much hard drive space. So when you see these new installers, make sure you click the Customize button and only choose the plugins you need. This will save space in such a way that you'll be shocked how much space you will save. And if you have been installing plugins on your new M1 Mac or an Intel Mac that you bought and you're running Catalina or Big Sur, check out using the customize button and only installing the plugins you need because you might be surprised. You may have two or three gigs worth of VSTs and AAX plugins that you may never use. Click install, give it your password. That's it. It's that simple. All right, guys and gals, I hope that helped somebody out. If it did, thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And since you're already here on YouTube, check out one of these videos below on your screen now. All right, guys and gals, we'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all.